Okay, so energy from wind and water, 3.2. And what we're going to be talking about here is um, tidal power, wave power, hydroelectric power, and wind turbines. So let's start off with wind, because there's only one real way, one real way of getting energy from the wind, and that's in a turbine. So if we've got our wind turbine okay. and um, this is good so the advantages are no CO2 no fuel costs But there are problems with it. So the disadvantages are CO2 during construction. So if you make a wind turbine, you have to use up a certain amount of CO2 in order to make it. So it will take so many years before that wind turbine is paid back that, that the amount of CO2 that was used in making it so that it's saved from not burning another fuel. Okay, so that's something you've got to take into account. If you do anything, you'll produce some CO2, so you need to just take that and into account. The next bit is um, that the wind is not reliable. So you wouldn't run a hospital off a wind generator in case all the life support machines suddenly stopped working because you didn't have to wind for a couple of days. Um, and the best wind is offshore, which means out to sea, which is expensive. Um, other things which are a little bit less science based but more people based are that they are um, an eyesore people don't like them near them and people are also worried about birds might fly into them but the major one the real problem with them is that they're not reliable Okay, um, if we look next, the other issue with wind is, if this is my wind turbine and it's in the middle of nowhere because that's somewhere where there's lots and lots of wind, I have then got to run a cable to get it to where I need it to go. So the other problem is that it's um, sometimes hard to connect the grid. This is the national grid. The national grid is the way that it's all the pylons and the cables that spread around the country, how we get energy around the country. And if you the windiest places are in the middle of nowhere. So you've got to run cables all the way to the house in order to get that wind power that you've generated here. Um, the turbine is in the actual propellers and the generator is down at the bottom so underneath it there will be a generator which means it's generated directly so this is the turbine it, the wind turns the turbine the turbine turns the generator the generator turns that into electricity it turns that movement energy that kinetic energy into electrical energy and it's done on site, which means that if your house was here, then that is absolutely brilliant, because that means you can have wind electricity in somewhere that's really remote. But if you wanted to send it to the rest of the country, you've got a lot of cables that you've got to put in. Okay, next one, wave power. Now, wave power is different to tidal power. I've got tidal power next. 
wave power is if you have a wave and you put um, something in there that moves up and down. So this is a generator that moves up and down. with the waves uh, then that generates electricity and again you've got problems with so the advantages again are no CO2 and it's renewable but it's the same problems hard to connect National grid. Unreliable. And currently, both of these two are a lot more expensive than um, fossil fuels, which is the other reason why they're not done currently. Okay, so um, next one we've got hydroelectric. Hydro means water. And what you're talking about here is you're talking about having a river that gets dammed and then the water goes through a turbine here. So if that's my dam, and then it's only allowed to go through the turbine that turbine will then turn a generator here that will then turn a generator which will generate electricity and what people tend to like to know about this one is they tend to like to know if you've got um, a height here this type of energy that's being stored so the water has been stored as gravitational potential energy this is then kinetic energy so what you're saying is that the water is stored high up because it because of the rain clouds take the water high up it rains high up and then when it comes down it gets stored by the dams that's storing up the gravitational potential energy when it's released it's moving through the turbine which is kinetic energy and then that kinetic energy goes to the generator which turns it into electrical energy and that quite often gets asked on exam style questions for you to describe the um, energy transfers in a, t in a dam or an hydroelectric dam system and the one that people always forget is they always forget that the energy that it had to start with is gravitational potential energy the water is high up is taken high up by the clouds okay next one we've got tidal power so tidal power and this one is really relevant for anybody living along the seven or the even because they're on about to doing this on the 7 or the Avon. So tidal power. And what they do is the tide comes in, they trap the water and stop it from going back out. So it's all stored up behind a dam, just like a river. But instead of it being rain clouds that are pushing the water high up, it's the tide. So tide goes in, you then stop it from going back out. So 
the tire goes in, it stops from going back out. And then when it is released, it's released through turbines that are in the dam wall. And the way that they can do that is they have a valve that only lets water flow in one direction. So water is only allowed to flow in that direction and then it's released through the turbines once it's full. So it's exactly the same as um, a hydroelectric except the tide going in is what's pushing the water uphill. You stop it, you then let it out and other than that it's exactly the same as the hydroelectric one that you did with previously. Okay. Um, this one is reliable because the tides are really reliable so you would always get the same tides regularly so the, that's the bigger advantage about this one. Unfortunately it's really expensive and people are worried about what happens to all the fish and wading birds. What impact will blocking the tides have on birds and fish? Okay and it's very expensive, so the reasons why it's not being done currently. Um, the, the proposal is to build one from Western Supermare to Cardiff, but that's still yet to be agreed 